Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have another boxing up for you. So this is another Christmas in July and I call this Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna show you, I thought it might be helpful to show you, a boxing up of a large stuffy. So the, the theme of the two boxes, I did one for boy two to four and one for a girl two to four also has a buffalo plaid theme. Buffalo plaid is iconic with Christmas. You see it everywhere and a lot of these items have buffalo plaid in them. So I hope this encourages you in your shoebox packing and gets you excited for the next couple of weeks. So let's take a look at this boxing up for a boy two to four. So the first thing I'll share with you is his tote bag. It's a buffalo plaid little tote that says, let it snow. And I'm gonna put that flat on the bottom of this box. This box is a photo box from Michaels. You can see that it's a buffalo plaid box. I've reinforced the edges with some tape to give it, make it a little more sturdy. And I'll show you the lid at the end. All right, so the next items we're looking for is a flat item. So he has these stickers. These are from the Dollar Tree. And these are just some Christmas stickers for him. So I just gave him a whole book. Put that in. He has a Christmas sticker face with over 150 stickers. I think this one was from Big Lots. This is again, I showed you in my other unboxing. They have a cute little face. Well, actually they don't have a face. It's a body and then the children make a face with the stickers. So a really fun activity. So we're gonna put that right on top of the stickers. The next he has a play pack with a reindeer on the front. Play pack has a little coloring book, some crayons and stickers. I got that on clearance somewhere, but we're gonna put that right in the bottom of the box also. And actually, I want to see if I can, yep, I think I'm going to lay it that way. Okay, the next item I'm going to put in is his card. It says, for a sweet boy. And on the front, you can see it has this little truck with a Christmas tree and a little plaid there. It says, all is calm, all is bright. And it has our picture and our note. I think I got these from Aldi after Christmas. So after Christmas is a great time to look for items on clearance. All right, he has a book. It's called Winter Friends. I think it was from Dollar Tree. It's really cute, very simple, and very cute illustrations. So that's his book. That's nice and flat. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Uh, let's see, I made him a washcloth. So this was a recent addition. I just started making washcloths. So I made a buffalo plaid washcloth for each box. This was inspired by Trey from Love for OCC. I love some of her handiwork and she makes washcloths and that's inspired me to do this also. So I have a couple of them coming up in some unboxings, but this was one of my first ones that turned out really nice. So we're gonna tuck that on the bottom because it's nice and flat. I'm going to sneak in his toothbrushes. He has a green and red toothbrush in a plastic baggie and it has a cap on it. We're gonna sneak that on the bottom in a little crevice. All right, two more sets of stickers, little dogs and little cats with Santa hats on. I'm gonna slide them underneath because they're nice and flat. Okay, probably his clothes. So he has this really nice shirt. It says on the nice list. It's really nice quality. It's made by Carter's and it's a size 5T. And I don't know where I got it from, but I love it. The quality of the shirt is really nice. And um, it's just really, really cute for this little boy. So let's fold it up really nicely and see if we can make it as flat as possible. 
And we're going to lay that in the box. The next thing he has is a pair of shorts. These are Granimals. And this is a size 4T. And I got these from Walmart and they were $2. So I'm going to take this tag off because it had the price on it. And I'm going to fold these up as nice as possible and lay them in the box, nice and flat. All right, let's pull the box closer to the camera. Okay, uh, the next thing we have is his composition book. He has a half composition book from Walmart with little stickers on the front. We're gonna stick that right here. You can see what we have so far. And the next, I made him a lovey. So it's just a nice piece of fabric, a snuggle fabric that I got from Joanne Fabrics with the running stitch on the side. Just a very cuddly uh, material, something for him to love. And it has the moose on it wearing the plaid. How cute is that? <laughs> so that went perfectly. And I think what I'm gonna do is roll that up slightly like this and put it on the side. All right, can't promise you this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. He has some crazy art crayons. We're gonna stick those down the side of the box. He has two pair of underwear, Ryan's World underwear, in an organza bag. I'm going to sneak those in there. And then he has a hygiene bag with a comb, bar of soap, nail clippers, and nail files. So let's slide that in also. Okay, what's next? All right, next we have some school supplies. I got him a tin. I think this was from the Dollar Tree. It has a little buffalo plaid on it. And in his tin he has Ticonderoga, some click pens, some novelty Christmas pencils. Just a nice little variety for him. I gave him a pen and gear eraser. A little Christmas pad of paper a ring, a little spiky ring. He has some emoji stickers, a glue stick, a cross from Oriental Trading. My dog is crying because my husband's coming home. <laughs> I think that's all I can fit in the tin. Oh, I put his cars in there. He has a red car and a green car. Pretty snazzy looking. So I think I snuck those right in the tin. Yep, and then I put an elastic on top of the tin. All right, we're gonna slide that right there. Okay, next he has his stuffy, and he's the cutest little thing. I got him on clearance after Christmas. He is a moose wearing a buffalo plaid shirt and antlers that make noises, and it's got a rattle inside. So much to cuddle and love. We're going to sit him right on top. And then we're going to tuck some things underneath of him. He has a pair of scissors for school. We'll just tuck that on the side. He has two little finger puppets. This is the dentist and the abominable snowman from um, Rudolph the Rain -nosed Rain Red Nosed Reindeer. I'm going to sneak those under his butt. 
he has a jingle bell for a little noise. He has a hacky sack, red and green. A Fiskars sharpener that's enclosed. Tuck that down there. And two cars from the Target dollar spot that were 10 cents each. One has a car with a tree on top and one has some snowmen taking a ride. So I think those will go nicely on top. And then his lid is a buffalo plaid truck carrying a Christmas tree that says Merry Christmas. So as you can see, he's kind of puffing up a bit, but if we tuck down his ears and his paws, I think he'll work just fine. And this might be a double rubber bander, but for the most part, all good to go and ready to go on its journey. And don't forget to pray over your boxes before you send them. It's really important. All right, let me show you the girl's box. Okay, I've laid everything out for a girl age two to four with a buffalo plaid theme. Her lid says you are loved with a cute little teddy bear with a buffalo plaid bow in its hair. The stuffy has a buffalo plaid tie, paws and ears. She has some utensils and a cup from Ikea, a little green ball, some crazy art crayons, some jingle bells. Her book is called Snowman Friends, and she has a tin of school supplies. That's a buffalo plaid tin, just like I got the little boy. Pencil sharpener, a half composition book, a little spiky ring, and a reindeer pencil. Play pack, some coloring pads, and a whole book of stickers. Her dress is a beautiful buffalo plaid dress, Wonder Nation, that I got on clearance from Walmart after Christmas. And she has a cute buffalo plaid bow to match her dress, also Wonder Nation on clearance. It's a little cross necklace from Oriental Trading. She has two pair of underwear and an organza bag. I gave her some fun little treasures to tuck in a buffalo plaid wristlet purse to match her dress. Two Barbie cars, two reindeers, and two Barbie figurines. She also has a pretty bracelet in red, green, and white, and some hair supplies including ribbon, ponytail holders, and bobby pins. There's a few extra stickers, a hairbrush, some hygiene including toothbrushes, nail clippers, nail files, soap, and the buffalo plaid washcloth that I made. And finally, she has a little tote to carry her things home in. So that completes my display for a girl aged two to four with a buffalo plaid theme and my boxing up for a boy, Merry Christmas, aged two to four. I hope you're enjoying these Christmas in July videos. Be sure to check out all the other YouTubers that are doing them as well. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by and watch the video. I really appreciate it. God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.